Hey guys, it's Alex from Five Ten Nine Two of Alex's Alex Sports News. Who is guys having a day? And before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for, for everyone that watched the Jimmy Garoppolo video. Right now, it's our second most viewed video with over 500 views, which is amazing. Thank you guys a lot. It is a comedian for the first viewed video on our channel, which would be amazing. It would be crazy because I never thought that would actually happen to that video. But I just want to say thank you guys. And also, I looked at some of the analytics of this channel and noticed that 50% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. So, which means that 50% who watch my videos aren't. So, what the fuck are you guys doing? Please support and please hit the subscribe button if you're watching this and is not a subscriber. So, you guys can see these videos up to date and in multiple videos and enjoy the content we make. It will just be thankful or good to know that you guys are enjoying it and liking it if you guys subscribe. So, please do that. Let's just begin off with the NBA. Starting off with the Suns being the Grizzlies score of 99-97. On his return back from injury, Devin Booker drops 32 points which is amazing, but I think the most impressive thing about that game was the Tyson Chandler game-winning shot, which is a perfect alley-oop dong. Yeah, I think that was by far the best game-winning shot in the NBA so far this season. Let me know what you guys think. In other NBA scores, we have the Spurs beating the Nets to score 109-97. The Bulls beat the Bucks to score 115-106. to They are 8-2 in the last 10 games. They are on a roll. Chris Dunn has been amazing. Then we have the Heat beating the Magic score of 107-89. And the Mavericks beat the Raptors score of 98-93. In NFL news, the Patriots claimed James Harrison off the waivers after he was cut by the Steelers earlier this week. He will be signed for the remainder of the season. He'll be a great um, person to have for the locker room for their playoff push. This comes out of shock why the Steelers even released him. And now he's going to the Patriots, which are just known to sign these kind of veterans after they get released. You have Kenny Britt this year, you have Michael Floyd, Steven Jackson, and then you had Bennett this year too. And it's very interesting to see what happens. I think it was a great signing by the Patriots. I still don't understand what the Steelers were doing. Now they're really getting karma into it. It'd just be hilarious if he gets a pick six at the end zone. Against the Steelers in the SC Championship, just be really funny to see that. And also in NFL news. This is one of the big top topics I want to talk about, and it's what the fuck is happening with the New York Giants. They're having a shit season. They only have two wins. I don't know what the hell is happening. They're, they're one of the contenders for Super Bowl in the preseason, and now they're the second worst team in the NFL. And then this doesn't make, get much better because this is shit going on with Eli Apple this season. It's just been horrible. He just has been ass. He's just been ass in overall general with everything. And well, Landon Collins wasn't having him. He goes on radio calling Eli Apple a fucking cancer. That first pick, I don't think we don't we he's a cancer. Which is something you never see. Eli Apple is definitely gonna be dipping that team very soon because the Giants fucking hate him. Yes, he's had a rough season this year. His mom had brain surgery. His stepdad left him. There's a lot of family problems. But Lan Conge hit the ball with this saying everyone does have family problems, so that doesn't give him an excuse to use that as poor play, not playing. Being a complete dick in the locker room. I mean, he's been ass. I mean, he needs to fix this shit because he's been horrible. And it's very interesting to see because you never see this. This really highlights this season. That's just, it's, this season's been pretty much cancer. Hopefully this shit gets fixed. Whoever our new GM and head coach is, put some leadership. Hopefully Eli Apple finally figures out what's wrong with his life. Please gets on the right track and goes plays football well again. As a 10th overall pick last year. This needs to be fixed because this is actually horrible. But let me know what you guys think about this. Is Land College in the right or wrong for saying he's a cancer? And what the fuck should Eli Apple do? Let me know what you guys think about the whole Land College situation. Let's get into EPL. Start off with Liverpool being swan. They score 5 0. Liverpool had an amazing game. Then Man United draw 2 2 versus Burnley. They can see Jesse Lingard coming off the bench and scoring two goals. He's having an incredible year. But what the fuck is going on with Man United? Jose Mourinho is really struggling in the last couple of weeks. And it's really fucking them over. Then we also have Chelsea beating Brighton score of 2 0. And then the Spurs beat Southampton to score 5 2 thanks to a Harry Kane hat trick. But with that hat trick, that makes Harry Kane beat Alan Chera to having the most goals scored in a calendar year in the Premier League. He has 39 now, beating Alan Chera's 36 thanks to that hat trick. And this is an incredible achievement. What do you guys think about this? I think this is one of the biggest achievements. In Premier League history in recent times, other than Man City's incredible run right now. So let me know what you guys think about that. And that's going to be for today's video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys for all the love on recent videos. We've gotten a lot of views up. I hope you get subscribers up too. 
and peace.